we are going to get every single one of these guppies right here. All right, Red Tail, you ready to eat? The hyphen shark going in. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here today. We are going to get fish for the pond. Although they're small fish, we still are going to get the first species that go into this pond. And now I'm getting this species in particular because when I first built this one with the team, this big old one back here, we got this same exact species. Do you remember how dirty the water was in this pond? I got a pressure washer. I took all the water out and sprayed all these rocks, like deep cleaned them. Look at that. All the gravel. Everything is just crystal clear. There's Thump right there. And there's the gar right there. But let me throw you back to the day uh, that I did this. It was like two nights ago. Look at those four jets down there. Got those installed. And then of course another light because the other one went out. So we just reinstalled that as well. Filling it up with clean water right now. And holy moly, I cannot wait to see how this looks, which you guys probably already seen it. Look at the difference. Just so clean. So that's just a quick bit of footage from that night. I didn't really pick up the camera much. I could have filmed the whole thing go down, but a lot easier just to explain it and get it done. It was like midnight. Anyway, that is that. And without further ado, let's head on over to the pet store and get some fish for the new pond that's over there. It's been a while that I've filmed on this camera and it's been a while that I've been in this pet store right here. Not only we're we gonna get a bunch of goldfish to feed the peacock and all the catfish as well. These are a feeder goldfish. You can get 10 of them for two bucks. So normally I just feed them tilapia, but there is a peacock bass in there and he doesn't like to cut tilapia. So I'm gonna get like a dozen of these. That is uh, something I would definitely consider buying if I had the tank room, but I do not have the tank room. That'll be big in a month, give it a month. You can kind of see him from right here, but if we pull this away, boom, that's what we're gonna buy right there, the guppies. You can get 10 of them for two bucks, so I'm just gonna get the whole entire tank. Because trust me, in a big pond like that, you'll barely see them unless I do buy like the whole tank. There's even some shrimp down there at the bottom, but maybe we'll get maybe we'll get this later. Should we get shrimp? If you think we should get shrimp for this pond as well, let me know in the comment. But I know for sure, we are going to get every single one of these guppies right here. Beta center, a bunch of beta fish all along the front and then over here as well. This one just blew my mind. Like look at the colors, beaut. Even the one below it, pretty cool too. That is a big beta fish, holy moly. Can't really see the size comparison on a, on a camera, but look at that. So we just got the minnows from over there and then I look in this back corner and I'm still gonna get like one more of these, maybe even two more from predatory fins but there's a high fin shark in this back corner here and I have to get it like it's it's pretty small but I think I think I can grow them they get they get pretty big so you see him in the back there such a cool looking fish now I, think, I don't know if he's He's just chilling. So we're gonna get him into a little bag uh, as well as our minnows from over there We got 250 little tiny baby minnows and then a dozen goldfish So we're gonna feed some fish put some minnows into the pond which you barely will even see 250 trust me and then put this hyphen in as well So how many minnows were there? 175, 175 minnows so I had a little bit off but that is a lot of minnows. And then our 10 feeder goldfish, because they do sell them by 10, not 12. So uh, 10 goldfish, and these are for the peacock. Those are feeders. These are actually gonna live a happy life inside our new pond. Now it's time to get the hyphen. We got one hyphen, probably, like I said, gonna get another one, but at least we have one for now. Look at the hyphen. Colors are so cool. Look at all the baby minnows inside there. They just got kind of, I guess they had them inside the tank. I think they had them last night. That's crazy, look at them all. So cool. And then our feeders. Can you go over like the calico colors on that hyphen? All right, strapped in and ready to head home. And we're back home, as you can see. Fish are doing just fine. I'm gonna take these bags. Take the bags and let's head into the backyard. It's actually really cold out right now. And what I mean by really cold, it's like 65 degrees. That's that's really cold for Florida. All right, I wanna get a good view of this high fin. Let me just show you, look, look at the face. Now he's a bit skinny, but we can make that better. We can, we can fatten them up real quick. They just eat sinking pellets and uh, stuff like that. 
high fin going in. These are our feeder goldfish, so we're not gonna put those into this pond. But we are gonna acclimate all of our 175 minnows along with that high fin right here as well. So, oh my goodness, there are so many in there. So now all the fish are gonna sit there, float for a little bit, acclimate, while we take these guys, get them into a net, and then go feed the fish. There's the peacock right there, just took off. Knife fish, red tails, everything's back here. I actually wanna check the water temp with these heaters going, I haven't checked it in a bit. It's, it's pretty cold. It is definitely cold, but it's not cold enough to do any harm to these exotics. I, I would say 70 degrees. All right, Redtail, you ready to eat? Watch, he's gonna feel, oh my goodness. He just felt the goldfish on the bottom. He's eating them all. No, come on. I don't think I got enough. 10 probably wasn't enough. First bag of minnows is going in. Watch this. Boom. That right there is how you get, that's probably 100 change minnows. A lot of minnows. Here's the minnows. Minnow bag number two. Pop those open. Nero, you're interested in what I'm doing, aren't you? Here we go, all the minnows. Whoa. Take off. Now we have a good selection of minnows. All right, so this guy was a tad bit, uh, he was a tad bit beat up, skinny. Wasn't like a normal fish, but I decided to give it a try and Try to, re not rescue it, but try to heal it back to a normal size. So what I'm gonna do is just wet my hand and then get it out for you. So as you can tell, this fish is very, very skinny. So uh, we're gonna have to fatten him up a bit, but there he goes. See you later, buddy. So all the minnows are really just gonna be like normal minnows would on the bank into these little crevices here. And uh, that's the main purpose I got them. They'll clean up a lot of the algae and a lot of the fish waste is what they eat. So uh, yeah, they're probably not gonna be over here too much because this jet's pretty powerful. Hey Bubba, what are you doing little piglet? Look at Lulu. What are you doing Liz? So that right there is uh, fish in the new pond. I stepped in crap. Oh yeah, that's always nice. So the new pond, not only is landscape from the part two of the video, but it has fish in it now. You can see our high fin shark down there at the very, very bottom. The GoPro footage is probably pretty raw about that guy. But you guys will see minnows in this pond and that high fin and probably more high fins, koi fish, goldfish, many things in this pond in the future. So be ready for that. If you haven't already joined the family, hit the subscribe button, join the family. We are approaching up onto 800,000 subscribers. Kaferos is what I like to call you. And then turn your post notifications on, click that bell so you're notified every time I do upload. Before I sign off just yet, I want to uh, let you know I tried feeding the blob catfish for the second time. The first time he ate, and it wasn't on camera, so the second time he ate it, but then this happened. So, roll the clip. First scoper catfish on film. Oh, 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 what the heck? No, he ate it. <laughs> first scoper catfish he eat on camera. No, don't spit it out. Oh, oh, got it again. Got it, no, 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 no. The blob catfish didn't fully eat a goldfish on camera just yet. We might even dedicate like a video strictly towards feeding the blob catfish different things and see what he really wants to eat. I know he likes the bigger goldfish. I know he likes pretty much anything along those lines. Anyway, that is about all I got for you today. Wait, wait, wait. I might have to start vlogging with a G7X. My arm is dead. Today's positive comment shout out is off of my Instagram. I saw this comment saying, you're such a stellar guy. My son and I have been watching your videos for a few months now. He's diagnosed with ASD and he is now obsessed with fish. Your videos are always so fun and welcoming. Because of you, we now have a 40 gallon fish tank. My son's name is Oliver. He'd totally lose it if you did a shout out to him. Oliver, this one's for you. Thank you guys, thank you and your dad and whoever else in your family does watch and thanks to all those who do support me out there. If you wanna win a positive comment shout out and have it up on one of these upcoming videos, all you gotta do is drop a positive comment down in the description, even maybe on my Instagram, you never know. At Paul Caffaro, thanks Oliver, you're the man. And until next time, Caffaro's, I will see you in that next video. We got fish for the new pot and there's gonna be many more to come. Peace. Ah, oh, my arm. Oh my lord, dude, this thing is so heavy, I don't know.
Mike wasn't on. Lulu and Bubba chilling. 